everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 6A. We're going to start by moving in duple meter. Go ahead and move with me, please. Do, day, do, chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 do. Micro beats on do, day. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. You chant macro beats, I chant micro beats. Day, do, day, do, day, switch. Do, 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 do. Echo me, please. Do, ta, ta, do, day, do, day, ta, do. Ba, 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 ba. Do day, do ta, do day ta, do day. Ba, 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 ba. I'll chant a pattern. You say the function. Macro, micro, division, division, elongation. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Macro, micro. Do day, do day, do ta day ta do day. Division. Ba 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 ba. Division elongation. Do day, day, do day, do. Elongation. And so that one, you could put in our division elongation umbrella, or you could be more specific and say it was just an elongation because our do day day, our micro beat was elongated. No divisions were elongated. You don't have to be that specific, but you can. Okay, so I am going to sing, and I'd like for you to sing with me, Whistle, Daughter, Whistle. Do, so, me, do, ti, do. Would you please move your hips very gently with your arms resting behind your back? Do, ba, 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 ba. Sing with me. Ba, 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 this time, I'm going to sing Sleep, Baby, Sleep. Would you pretend that you're rocking a kitten? Do, so, me, do, ti, do. Bum, ba, ba, bum. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 Go ahead and join me in singing Old MacDonald three times. The first time, I'm going to show you the tonic, subdominant, and dominant chord changes. Then I'm going to have you sing the melody while I sing the chord roots. Do, fa, so, and do. And then I'll have you sing the chord roots. I'll probably sing the chord roots with you while I play the melody on the piano. Otherwise, you don't get anybody else singing those with you. Okay, so. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. So just notice with me tonic, subdominant, and dominant chords. Ba, 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 now we're going to sing it again. You're going to sing the melody, and I'll sing those chord roots. Bum, 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 bum. Are you ready? Bum, bum, bum. Sing the melody. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Go ahead and sing those roots with me. that one more time. Oh, I got sharp. That happens. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. 
those roots with you and then I'll play the melody. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can do the hands and the melody at once. Okay, I'll sing with you, but I won't hold up the fingers. gymnastics there. Let's do it one more time and I'll see if I can do this part. If not, you've just got to do showing what these are on your own. One more time. Bum, 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 sing the roots. tonality. What I'd like for you to do is to name the tonality and the functions of these patterns. Remember we have tonic, subdominant, and dominant. So let's see here. Major in my head still. Do me so so ti so fa re ti do mi do. There we go. All right. So go ahead and tell me tonic major, subdominant major, dominant major. Do so mi. Tonic major. Fa. Do. Subdominant major. So, me, do. Tonic major. Do, me, so. Tonic major. Fa, do. Subdominant major. Ti, so, re. Dominant major. Mi, so, do. Tonic major. <laughs> so you can also listen to the pattern CD, which I've moved, so I can't tell you which track, but look for the track that is major, tonic, subdominant, and dominant chords with syllables. So go ahead and listen to that and practice naming the functions this week. All right, we're going to come to the keyboard. We'll do the song to sing in part B, like we did with our last unit. We're going to look on the first page of unit six. This is page 20. We're looking at the keyboard geography and technique. We're going to review a whole bunch of stuff in C major. So if you remember from unit five, we reviewed a whole bunch of things in 5A related to D major and B minor so that we could do the D major and B minor tonic, subdominant tonic cadences and arpeggios. Well, we're doing the same thing with C major and A minor this time. So I'm gonna have you on your own review the C major scale the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence, and the tonic arpeggio, that's all for C major, and also the A minor tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence, and tonic arpeggio. So go ahead and pause and do those. By the way, if you need any help with those, those are at the end of book one. After all of those things, we're also going to review the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios, when C is Do and A is La. If you need to look at those, those are on book two, page 10. And remember that when you play, you're going to sing Do, Do, So, Do in C major. 
And let's try adding the pedal if these are easy. Go ahead and at least sing the roots with me while I play. If you can, try to play and sing. Do. going to do when A is La, we're going to sing up for La. I like the sound on the piano here, but we're going to actually going to be singing here. So if it's easier for you, play it up here. So I'm going to play low and we'll sing. So at least sing with me. If you can, go ahead and play along as well. And go ahead and practice those arpeggios. If those things are all easy for you, try to find ways to challenge yourself. Remember when you have the tonic arpeggios, what we've started doing is trying to sing all the syllables. So you can sing do mi so do mi so do so mi do so mi do. There's a way you could challenge yourself in C major. Uh, you could also challenge yourself with the cadence. You could try playing those notes in a different order instead of this order that we've always done. So you can try playing that in a different order. For the scale, you can try doing the very next thing, number two, under Keyboard Geography and Technique, where it says play any major scale with one finger using syncopated pedaling. Listen carefully. So we're going to do that in a moment with the C major scale. And then the same thing in A minor. You can challenge yourself to sing all the syllables for the tonic arpeggio, and you can challenge yourself to play the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence in a different order. So try some of those things if this is easy. All right, number two, play any major scale with one finger using syncopated pedaling. Remember, we don't go like this. When we play with one finger, whole hand moves together. All right, so I'm going to start with my foot down. together to finish it off. So go ahead and practice that this week with the C major scale. You can go ahead and do that now and the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when C is do and A is la because I didn't give you time just now. Then number four, locate all the piano keys by letter name. Continue doing this. But what we're going to do when we locate the piano keys today is I would like for you to use the damper pedal and change the pedal for each different piano key. So, go ahead and put your pedal down before we start here. So I'm going to give you a note name. We're going to start with C sharp. Now we're going to go to F flat. Change the pedal. D sharp. A double sharp. B flat, G double flat, D sharp, G natural. So keep practicing naming, finding all of your different piano keys, including sharps and flats and naturals and double sharps and double flats. Which brings us to the other keyboard skill to do today, which is not in the book. Draw the five accidentals. Again, continue drawing and labeling these and then continue finding them on the piano. So keep working on that. You want to be an expert. All right, that's all for the keyboard geography and technique for today. 
So now we're going to look at the exploration, creativity, improvisation. And what we're doing is on page 20, number one, it says transpose stepping stones to five chialities. Plan the tonic chord, think, do, so. So stepping stones is in book two, page seven. So take a moment, grab book two, let's look at page seven. It's been a while since we've played stepping stones. So let's just review what stepping stones sounds like. So this is in duple meter, major tonality, do is F sharp, and the melody starts on do. So let's play our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when F sharp is do before we start to play this. Do, mi, so, so, ti, so, fa, re, ti, do, mi, do. Now, when we start, remember it said here, plan the tonic chord. That's because of the second half of the song. So we start with, I'll just play, do, de, do, here I go. And here's the second half. So the tonic chord is in that second half of the song. We're crawling up, we're crawling down the tonic arpeggio or the tonic triad in this song. Do, mi, so, that goes up to do for the top note, down to so. So in the middle, it's just do, mi, so. And you go up to do and down to so. So, do. And it starts up at the top. So, so, do. play that part of the song with me. This part is going to be important as we transpose it. Bum, bum, bum. Play with me. So, so, do. Play me so. Do, do, me so, do. So just look at the keyboard and notice that tonic chord on the keyboard because that's what we're going to have to find. And then it says think, do, so. That's the first half of the song. We start on do, then this hand goes back and forth to so. Do, so, do, so, do, so, do, so. So if you can find do and so, that's the first half of the song. Okay, so we're going to play this in one or two different chialities together, and then I'd like for you to play it in the other chialities. So we're going to play this when C is Do. So this is a long way away from our original F sharp because we don't want to relate to our original keys. We're trying to think about this tonic chord, and we're trying to think about Do, So, Do, So. So, I would play a cadence before you start. You could play trying to play this. All right, so at the end, we're finding do, mi, so, and that so is where we start the ending. So, do, so, do, mi, so, do, mi, so, do. Go ahead and try playing the ending of the song in C major. And then at the beginning, stepping stones in C major. And then let's try this now in, what have we done? Let's try it in E major. So for E 
major. We're starting out finding our tonic chord. Do, mi, so, do. That's what we mean for the beginning. Starts with so, so, do. feels different to have that one black key in there that you're navigating. But as long as you can see that tonic chord, you can find it. And then you need, for the beginning, to play Do, So, Do, So, Do, Do, So. Then you can play it. Notice there's another black key there on Re. So go ahead and try playing Stepping Stones in E major. And then see if you can transpose to three other chialities or three other tonics. You could do F major, you could do G major, you could do A major, I think we've done. I'm trying to think about what we've done. D major, you could certainly do. So try three other chialities. If you have any trouble with this, let me know. That's totally fine. If this was super easy, just play one for me at the group class check-in and we'll be done with that. All right, so that's the exploration, creativity, improvisation for this unit, this part of this unit. And then for our review, we're gonna turn back to unit five and unit four. So in unit five, we're reviewing the tonic, subdominant tonic cadences and arpeggios. We do is D and La is B. What I'd like you to add is for the cadences, the melodic cadences, add separated and connected style and sing syllables. We have sung the syllables together, but make sure you sing them while you play. Make sure you add that both for D major and B minor. And then for the arpeggios, add connected style for both of those. So go ahead and mark down all of those things and practice those now. That may have taken a little while, but that's okay. And then we're looking at Polish folk song. So what we're adding for Polish folk song is two new chialities. So we would already played it in E minor. Do, da, di, do, triple meter. Here I go. So I'd like for you to try to play this in two other chialities. You just do it and then tell me if you've had trouble with it. I want to have you do some of these independently here and see how easy or how difficult that is. So if that was easy, great. Just play it for me in the two new chialities. If you were having trouble, no problem. We will go ahead and look at that together at the check-in. And then turning back to unit four. So we had the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. When do is D and la is B are same wonderful keys here. So I'd like you to add singing syllables to both of these. So this time, I'd like you to be singing the roots while you play. Do, do, so, do. And la, la. Actually, let's sing high la. I think that will be better. different octaves that are better for you for singing, go ahead and do those. So add, sing the roots. So that's sing syllables. Make sure you mark today's date by those. And then we're looking at French folk song. So for French folk song, we're going to add a new tonality and a new meter today. So playing this in the original triple meter, major tonality, do is G. Melody starts on me. Let's play our tonic dominant tonic arpeggios to get D major in our heads. Do, do, so, do. so we'll play the original with both. 
both accompaniments. Go ahead and just play with me if you can. Do da dee do, play with me. Take your time. Other accompaniment. Tonality, let's play this in D minor. And we're going to, so our accompaniment one is going to be La, Do, Mi, C, D, Mi, C, Re, Mi. There we go. Try playing French folk song in D minor. If you can play it with the accompaniments, that is wonderful. Try playing with both different accompaniments in D minor. If you can just play the melody, that's okay too. And we'll try to add in one or both of those accompaniments later. And then new meter. So I'm going to give you an idea of what this could sound like. in duple meter. Do, day, do, here I go. So do, 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 something like that. So we could do today's date by the new tonality and new meter and that's all of our review for today and then we're going to look at our new song to play our new keyboard piece for this unit so go ahead and just listen first this is Dutch folk dance I'm going to sing this song go ahead and move to macro beats find the micro beats decide if this is duple or triple so it's a very fast triple. So you may have been thinking that it was duple because you maybe were thinking this way. Do, day, do, day. And you were hearing the macro beats in groups of two. So we're going to think this in a triple meter, just a fast one. Go ahead and echo these rhythm patterns. I'm going to play a part of the piece, and then I'd like for you to chant the rhythm pattern. Do, da, dee, do, here I go. Do, dee, do, da, dee, do, do. go back to that first rhythm and then after that dee do 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 so go ahead and label these rhythm patterns we're going to chant the first one and then think about what the category is that this would belong in do da dee do here we go do dee do da dee do 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 dee do da dee do do so this is an elongation rhythm pattern because of our do D. And this is the most common elongation in triple meter. Do D. The second pattern 
Do da dee do, here I go. Dee do do, dee do do, dee do do, dee do do. This one has an elongation, the do dee. It also has an upbeat, dee do. It doesn't start on do. So you could call this an upbeat pattern or an elongation pattern. It's got both of those things in there. And then the last one, do da dee do, here I go. Dee do, do, do. Dee do, do, do. This one also is an upbeat pattern. Dee do, do, do. And it has an elongation at the end. Do. So both things in there again. Though really, the second pattern if I'm thinking, if I'm actually audiating it instead of looking at it on the page, it really doesn't have, the, the rhythm in the middle really isn't functioning as an elongation. It's functioning as another upbeat. So we have dee-doo-doo, dee-doo-doo. It's an upbeat, dee-doo, and then it's another upbeat, dee-doo. And this is one of the places that it gets tricky and really is up to how you're audiating these rhythm patterns. Is that an upbeat or is it an elongation? Do dee or is it dee do? And much of the time, we're going to hear those D's as upbeats. Dee do do, dee do do. In much of music, we're going to hear it that way. So if that rhythm pattern is, if you are audiating that rhythm pattern as an upbeat pattern, that's wonderful. If you're audiating these rhythms as elongations, that's also wonderful. It's, it just depends on how you're hearing those. So getting into some of the subjectivity here. I'm going to play this again. I'd like you to listen for the form. Listen for the number of phrases in this song. Each of the phrases has four macro beats or four do's. Remember our do's are really fast here. distracted my, by my playing the accompaniment. So there are four phrases, four phrases in here. Are these phrases the same or different from each other? I'll play just the melody now. So the the first phrase, the first phrase or pattern, and the third one are the same as each other. The second and fourth ones are almost the same. The second pattern is The fourth one changes right at the end. Go ahead and audiate the song and then name the tonality. So hear the whole thing in your head. And I just talked about it a little bit ago with my syllables. So this is major tonality. You hear the resting tone and then sing it. Do. Echo these tonal patterns, please. Do, mi. Do, mi. Sol, mi. Sol, mi. Fa, re. Fa. Mi, do, mi, do. Let's listen for where those tonal patterns happen in the song. Listen for do, mi, bum, bum. So that happens right away at the beginning of each of our two larger sections. Now listen for so me. You may already know where it happens. Bum, 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 bum. 
So that happens right after our do me section. Bum ba 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 so me ba ba bum ba ba bum bum ba 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 so me ba ba bum bum. Can you audiate the song and see if you can find where fa re happens in the song? Bum ba. So it happens right after so me bum ba 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 bum ba fa re ba ba bum bum ba 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 bum ba fa re bum. And then lastly, listening for mi do. So I talked about this one a little bit ago. Mi do shows us the difference between the first half of the song and the second half. Bum ba 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 bum ba ba bum ba mi do bum ba 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 bum ba ba bum do. Apparently, we have an alarm here. Let's do something about it. There we go. No more alarm. And last thing, function of the patterns: tonic major or dominant major. Do mi tonic major. So me tonic major fa re dominant major mi do tonic major. Go ahead and open up your book three to Dutch folk dance. This is on page 21. 21. Go ahead and find that. Read the music information box. This song is in triple meter, major tonality. Do is E, and the melody starts on Do. Go ahead and sit in the middle of the keys used to play the piece. This is going to use five fingers in one hand. You can play the melody in either hand. And we're going to play the E major tonic dominant tonic arpeggios to get ourselves ready for this. Go ahead and play that with me. We're going to sing Do, So, Do. Don't those arpeggios sound lovely with the pedal? If you've been able to put any of those with the pedal, they, the damper pedal, they really sound nice. Let's play and sing tonal patterns from the song. Do, mi. what I'd like you to try. I want you to audiate the rhythm patterns of the song and then see if you can play the song. Let your ear guide your fingers and just see how far you can get here. Think your rhythm patterns. Do, 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 da, do, 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 Go ahead and see how much of the song you can play. If you got all the way through the song with whatever stumbles you needed to to try to figure that out, that's wonderful. And if you were having trouble, that's no problem at all. We're going to try, we're going to break this down just a little bit into some smaller patterns. Let's think of the first pattern. Do, de, do, da, de, do, do. Make sure you're listening for that do do me right at the beginning and then so me so let's try playing that first pattern i'll play it and then you pause and try the next pattern de do do de do do make sure you're noticing Then the third pattern is the same as the first one. The fourth pattern, notice that the ending is Go ahead and 
and try that pattern. So now, see if you can go ahead and play the whole melody, and I'm going to add the single tone tonic and dominant accompaniment. This is a kind of familiar pattern. And do and so. Uh, let's do do and so, just so we don't confuse. Bum, 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 play the melody. play both parts and then try putting them together. So just this part. Bum, 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 play with me. Go ahead and try playing those parts together. And then we're going to play this melody we're going to do something different. We're going to play this in C sharp minor tonality. Go ahead and play and sing. We're going to play this when C sharp is la. or try playing along and then I'm going to have you play after that. Bum, 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 here I go. Go ahead and try that. That's a different sound. And then we're going to play this in duple meter. So let's go back to... and move in duple meter. I'm going to go ahead and stand too and make this a little bit easier. We'll do this together. Bum, 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 move with me. Bum, 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 So now I'll show you how it sounds when I play it while you keep moving in two. Do day do move in two. So if you can, go ahead and try playing this in duple meter. So when you mark down things for this song, mark down the melody in one hand, make sure you play the melody in the other hand as well. Mark a new tonality because we played that today. And if you were able to play this in duple meter, mark a new meter. If you think you could get it with a little bit more work, then go ahead and bring it to me at the group class check-in and we'll see if we can do that and add it in. All right, recap for today. So here are your assignments. Number one, pattern CD track 23. You have a new pattern CD track and audio tracks 12 to 13 for this book, The Song to Sing and Dutch Folk Dance. So pattern CD track 23 and audio tracks 12 to 13. Number two, keyboard skills, page 20, numbers one, two, and four, plus continuing to write out your five accidentals and label them. So that's number two. Number three, improv, page 20, number one, under your exploration, creativity, improvisation, that's number three. Transpose stepping stones to five realities. Number four, review book three, units four and five. So if you're using these assignments, it says review book three, unit five, make sure you're also reviewing unit four. That's assignment four. Assignment five, Dutch folk dance, and then number six, Rhythm Pattern Project, page 60. Here's the last one. 
and we're going to come back to these projects and do them with other tracks. But we're going to make our first way through Project 7, so tracks 4 and 1 with Project 7 on page 60. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 6A. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.